Ralph Beard Achievement Award goes to someone that I've always heard say they burned the net down. This guy can burn the net down shooting three pointers. Somebody once said he shot a three pointer one time. It was far back. He had to take the bus, catch the basketball. This guy went to a little school out of Bristol, Kentucky, right a little school out of Bowling Green. One game he scored 64 points. He averaged 30 points a game for four years. He was the only basketball player from Kentucky that won a gold medal in the U.S. Panama games. He was highest leading scorer in those games. He was the only player in Kentucky to average 30, 20 points in the NBA and the ABA. And you had to play a minimum of five years to get this award. Now, I want to present to you the outstanding basketball player, Daryl Carrier. You know, um, three or four years ago, I had a son uh, that had his reception here in this same room, Josh Carrier, and he was Mr. Basketball uh, a few years ago, 91, I believe. <clears throat> and uh, I gave him, I gave all the people some advice that was here that night, all the men, I gave the men some advice. I said, I want all you men to remember Daryl Carrier's three eyes. You know, trying to give my son some advice. I said, I am sorry, I was wrong, I love you. So you men remember the Daryl Carrier three eyes. <clears throat> okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate very much this opportunity to be with such a distinguished group of people tonight, and I am deeply grateful for the honor of the Ralph Beard Achievement Award that has been conferred upon me this evening. I'm the baby of nine children, and I have a twin brother. He played defense and I played offense. <clears throat> My daddy said, when they start coming two at a time, it's time to stop. <clears throat> I grew up a lot like the Amish. I followed a mule through a lot of tobacco patches, strawberry patches, and gardens, and uh, we were poor people that lived off the farm. Um, my mother sometimes would put together a good meal and she would have maybe eight pork chops she would stick out there, and I was a big, strong young man, and had several children and I'd reach and grab and usually just come up with four. <clears throat> um, I, I did play uh, high school basketball and, and put up a lot of points and, and uh, Mr. Diddle came out and uh, started recruiting me when I was a sophomore. Came back the next year and offered my twin brother a full scholarship and Kentucky made the biggest play I guess for me. Um, 
But being a homebody, I had to stay 10 minutes from home, I guess. And Mr. Dental, he, he wasn't going to let me out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, I played with All-American Bobby Rasco that's been getting inducted into the Hall of Fame here in Elizabethtown this summer. And Mr. Diddle used him as a tool to get me there. He'd say, come up and play the All-American. And of course, you could see a high school player playing against an All-American, but I went up and gave it my best. Uh, <clears throat> I finished college in 1964 and uh, bought me a brand new Mustang. It was a 1965 Fastback for $3,100. Uh, now I was ready to go on my first date. Uh, my coach told me in high school, said, leave the girls alone. And, uh, and uh, my college coach said the same thing. So I tried to concentrate on basketball. When I hit the court, I learned this from Bobby, the All-American Bobby Rasco. When I hit the court, I was serious about what I was doing. I didn't shoot over the backboard. I didn't take mid-court shots. I was serious about making every shot that I took. And, uh, <clears throat> but I was fortunate enough to, I was drafted by the St. Louis Hawks and they asked me to come over and I said, I'll come over with a no-cut contract. Well, Jeff Mullins was the number one draft pick so they only give one player a, a number one a no-cut contract. So I went over and played with the Phillips 66 Sixers and that was a big oil company, and, and they were somewhat better than the pros because once you finished, they, you didn't make quite as much money, but you made almost at that time. And once you finished playing basketball, you had a good job with the company for the rest of your life. So it was somewhat, I thought, better. Than, and, and in, in the meantime, I was fortunate enough to play with various all-star teams and travel to some 27 foreign countries Played uh, with various all-star teams, played in the world tournament. I was leading the score in the world tournament. Played in the Pan American Games. I scored 32 points in the Pan American Games. Wes Hunsel's a big name that played in that with me. We won a gold medal. And uh, I got 32 points. It's still a record in those games. <clears throat> so I was asked to play in the Olympics. Uh, but my home team, Kentucky, called and said, we need you here in Kentucky. We need some Kentucky names on the team. So they brought in Cotton Nash, Louis Dampier, Bobby Rasco, and a bunch of Kentucky names. And, and so, so we went with the Colonels. And uh, so God has certainly blessed me with good health, wonderful family, and many delightful friends along the way. I've learned that what you are as a person is far more important than what you are as a basketball player. With those printed words, I would like to thank the committee for selecting me as the recipient of the Ralph Beard Achievement Award. I knew Ralph very well, and I really honor that award. Uh, he was at a lot of the colonel practices while we were there, so we were close. I knew his entire family, his mother, his brother. Also, I would like to thank the Lions Club for sponsoring this event along with so many other outstanding projects throughout the year that they do. Last but not least, I thank each and every one of you for your attendance tonight. You have truly made this a very special evening for me. God bless you.